Hi everyone, this is Heather Lottenen from the Flourish Academy. This is episode 242. And a few days ago, my dear friend Susie posted some images in the Flourish Academy camera club from her first wedding and a few from her first, I think, engagement sessions that she had shot. And it was just a great reminder. It was a way of her, for her to inspire people to say that, hey, we all start somewhere and your photos in the beginning aren't always going to be great, but good morning, Christina. How are you? Good afternoon. I'm sorry. <gasps> Susie, I'm talking about you. Um, number one, Susie bought me these beautiful earrings for Christmas. Aren't they pretty? Thank you so much. I wear them every day. And secondly, I was saying that you have posted photos from one of your first weddings in the Flourish Academy Camera Club, and you were encouraging everyone to just keep photographing and practicing because we all start somewhere. And I think that was a very inspiring post. Thank you very much. So I was also inspired by your bravery, your courageousness to put those photos out there. I created a blog post showcasing some of my early photos from weddings and I have my laptop with me so you can see photos like this. That is quite a glorious shot of her armpit. Don't you think so? I was very artistic. The wedding I posted from was 2005. Now what's really bad about this is that I was about two years, yeah, two years into my career at this point. I started photographing in 2003 and I had a couple of weddings, but I was still photographing everything. I had not classified myself yet as a full-time dedicated wedding photographer, but in 2005, I had a couple of years experience under my belt, yet I went through a tilting phase uh, not only is this photograph significantly tilted, it's back focused and I shot it at f8. And that previous photo I'd shot, I think at f11. I included all my EXIF data on this post. Uh, at the time I was shooting the Canon 20D with a 28 to 135 variable aperture lens. So obviously at the time I did not have great equipment, but I can't blame it on the equipment. I was just a poor photographer, but that's okay. I'll post the link to this blog post once I finish the video. The point is we all start somewhere and it just takes time, practice, and effort, but keep pushing through. I, you know, were people making fun of me or laughing at me at this point? I don't know. Maybe they were. I don't know. I don't care. That's not, that, that doesn't matter to me. I'm not going to pay attention to what other people are doing. Okay, I do, but I, it didn't matter. I just kept pushing through and kept photographing and I'm super grateful to the people that gave me a chance and believed in me even when I didn't deserve it. And the wedding that I posted on the blog was not a free wedding. She paid for this. I want to say it was either 2005. I, I think it was probably around $1,200. And um, what she got for $1,200 was an excellent use of framing. How's that for composition? <laughs> and the point I think that Susie was trying to make and that I'm trying to make is you take photos, they're not great, that's okay, they get better, who cares, nobody cares, it's not a big deal. And in the Flourish Academy and in our community group where you should definitely join us, we will always help you and encourage you and never make fun of you or speak to you in a condescending manner, although I give you full permission to make fun of these images that I have posted. Now in the comments below, I would love it if you could post either how you're feeling about this, are you inspired? Is it nice to see that somebody who takes good photos now used to not take good photos? But also, are you brave enough to post one of your photos from early on in your photography journey that you, you thought was pretty good? I mean, I actually thought these images were really good. I remember thinking to myself, I'm so clever to take this photojournalistic candid shot of her. I'm so clever. Look at that photo. I actually liked that photo. I kept it in her gallery. <laughs> That's okay. You can make fun of me. It doesn't bother me. But if you post photos that aren't any good from when you started out, that's okay. We're just going to learn from it. Again, all the XF data is here. I also posted some photos from some more recent weddings so you can see the transition. So obviously that's 13 years between this wedding and the current present weddings that I'm photographing. But again, this was not at the beginning of my career. I had weddings before this and I had some experience and this is still the type of work I was producing. But I persevered and here I am. 
I hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.